Love what you've done with the place. Let's see it. It's uh, $125,000. Uh, $100 for your team. $25 for you. It's all there in used hundreds and twenties. These aren't tax dollars at work. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just call it a PR allowance. You know, for special projects. Listen, you're, uh, your team, they're, uh, they're professionals, right? That's what you're paying for. Oh, I know. Look, nobody gets hurt, but it has to look real and believable. That's your job, Slick. Oh, I know. It's handled on my end. Don't you worry about that. Why don't you do your job and I'll hide the money at the drop-off point in the morning, walk to the banquet, and choke down your lunch. Is that simple enough for you? Just make sure your team doesn't choke when game time starts. This has got to be squeaky clean, no mistakes. But we all go down together. I'd really hate to see all our faces get splashed over the news if you come up short. Slick. Listen to me. No matter what happens, I don't exist. Are we clear? Crystal. Lunch. What are you doing here? You forgot to tell me about the twenty five grand. Take something from someone who don't even exist. What are you talking about? Hey, hey! <laughs> What supporters hope to be an historic day for the city here at the La Plage Hotel. The hotel has been abandoned for decades, but you wouldn't know it with its facade newly renovated and the limousines bringing the city's most prominent business leaders here. Oh, guys, he's here. Come on, look it up. Come on, let's go. Gotta find the grand ball. 
There you go. There you go. Lieutenant Williams is securing the southwest perimeter. Mr. Sterling, what do you think of the price tag? It's just the ballroom. Excuse me, officer. Yes, ma'am. Could you tell me which way the banquet hall is? Straight down this way. Thank you. Five minutes, Mr. Mayor. Mm. Thanks, Eric. It's always nice to pick up the service. They're on schedule. No, I, I understand, and I agree. I do. I'm just telling you. We win the governor's seat four years later? Who knows? Okay, but let's just, let's take things one step at a time. Listen to me. We have to present you in a manner that is sympathetic, forthright to the people. You're going to be the greatest governor the state has ever known. Thank you. Just want to make sure everybody Excuse knows. Excuse me, gentlemen. Robert, we have the five-minute warning. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, have you met Miles McCurdy? He is my lawyer, Mr. Mayor, and he is also going to run my campaign. It's an honor. Nice to meet you, Miles. Well, shall we do it? I'll have a few thank yous first, and then I'll introduce a congressman. Okay. Oh, oh, I have to speak. Oh, well, I just, <laughs> no, I'm sure I have a few words. No, I think you're going to see a lot of smiles, Mr. Mayor. When I present the city with $50 million in federal funds, it tends to have that effect on people. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, would you excuse me for just one moment? I'm on board. Good to finally meet you. Talk to the Girl Scouts on Wednesday. No, sorry. Um, how about a photo op on Friday morning? Done. Okay. Oh, and um, by the way, could you bring some cookies? Uh, the good stuff, thin mints. Right. All right. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Hello, dear. I thought you were getting dressed. Would you excuse us, Ricky? <laughs> I have to. Just go. Hi, honey. What happened? Random House needs what? the book this summer. What? I, I'm not in that thing, am I? You wish. Yeah, well, you know, for better or for worse, remember? Is this the better or the worse? Well, those people don't want to see me. They only want to see the man. Okay. All right. It's fine. It really is. But tomorrow... In Jacksonville, all right? You really, you you must make an appearance because that is, that's the foundation speech for my When you announced to run for governor. Announcement for the run for the governor, yes. Know. Could you, could you try to sound enthusiastic? You know, a year from now, you could be in the governor's mansion. Hmm? Today's topic is the renovation of the Grand Old La Plage Hotel. We're all around the town and you're live. Next caller, please. Why waste money on that rat trap? Blow it up and start over. Or better... Hi. What's he doing here? I thought you two guys made up. Who told you that? He did. Hi. What's up? Cy Harkin. The embezzler? Business man. Same thing. He missed his last court date. And Louvers is throwing him apart. Oh, what, what's the door prize? A hundred grand. Mm-hmm. His clients put together a bounty. They're hoping he'll tell them where he hid all of their money, so we need him alive. Well, it's your lucky day, because I need a hundred grand. Charlie's going with you. Say what? Now, you know. Verb always has protection. You can't carry a gun being an ex-felon and such. 
Well, I'm an ex-felon because I, I did a year's time for something I didn't do. It wasn't my fault. Well, okay, 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 listen. Well, if you don't need the money, then well, hey! Okay. So this is side. It'll be all like old times, Logan. For a few minutes' work, you make a hundred grand, minus Charlie's cut. Char Charlie. Charlie's cut. You can't expect me to protect you for free. You never have protected me. So why do I think you're going to protect me now? You give him ten, you keep ninety. Uh. When you get there, ask for Big Harry. Who? Big Harry. That'll get you in. <laughs> Don't say a word. Not a word. Yeah, they're ready for you, Robert. All right. Eric, would you mind staying behind and be host of the Sinclair family? No problem. Thank you. Pleasure. Very excited about this, Mr. Mayor. Not as excited as we are, I guarantee you. <laughs> Whoop. That was mine. <laughs> hey, Dad, are you going down? Yeah, I'll go down. Oh, poor kid. I'll see you later, all right? Listen to your mother. It's my stepmother. What are you, Cinderella? She doesn't listen to you. Do me a favor. What is the big deal about this rat trap? Urban redevelopment plays big in the press. Well, besides, this place is full of history. The uh, Rockefellers, the Carnegies got married here. Mm -hmm. Did anybody die? Justine. What? Ease off on the lipstick. You don't need that much. I like it, okay? Not okay. You're pretty enough without it. I'm going for a walk. I don't think so. Why? Because I want to go? Well, I'm going. No, you're not. I am going. Miss, your mother's right. The place has been abandoned for 15 years. She's not my mother, okay? She's my dad's wife. You don't have to throw a fit. Everybody knows you're a teenager. Why aren't you down there with dad right now? All right, I'm out. Everybody to their corners. Perhaps the mayor's handsome young aide can escort you on a tour. Be glad to. All I'm going to see is rat poop. I don't know about that. A very famous actress committed suicide in this hotel once. It's good enough. I'm sorry about you're sorry? the year in the pen. Oh, you're sorry about the year in the pen? It's because of you. I, I was there. I, I trusted you, Charlie. Well, you can't erase what, what, what we've been through. Yes, I can. And there's no more it. we. There's no more we. Got it? But we can, we can get over this. Uh, we're here. You stay in the car.
Hi, Si. Hey, I know you. Me? Yeah, you. Big Harry said. Yeah. When did you talk to him? This morning? Yeah. Not unless you can talk to the dead. Big Harry. Last night. Big Harry got unlucky. That happens. Happened to you just now. Where am I going? Oh, someplace really nice. I'll like it anyway. Come on. Ah! Oh, what the hell's the matter with you, Charlie? I thought you need some cover. Give me your cut. Check on side. He's dead! Let's get out of here! Well? He's dead, I lost $10,000. The Audubon Society 315. I know. The film crew hey, is coming in 545. Mrs. Sinclair. Thank you, Miles. Thank you very much. Showtime? I think we should do it. I think we should do it. No, I think that's okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Before we get to the man we've all come to hear, Congressman Robert Sinclair. I want to acquaint you with all the work that's gone into this evening. For the last three months, workers from all over the city have plied their trades to restore this grand ballroom into the showplace that it once was. This is only the first chapter. Now, our wonderful city will finally be able to rebuild. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man of the hour, Congressman Robert Sinclair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, when this hotel was first built a hundred years ago, it held the promise of growth and prosperity for a new community. Well, today, I offer a similar promise, that we can begin again to make this part of the city as fresh and as vital as this hotel once was and will be again. All right? Now we're going to go down right where it all started. During Prohibition, the hotel actually made its own whiskey right here in this basement. I want to see where that famous actress died. You mean Emily Ashland? I guess so. Oh yeah, upstairs. Come on. Anyway, as we go through, you'll see a ballroom which has a stained glass ceiling not for people. In these very halls roamed most of the greatest minds and names of the 20th century. And their spirits still roam. Witness to this great opportunity that we bring. Amazing, huh? You have to get out of that basement. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Come on. Emily Ashley. She won the Academy Award for her first film. Mm. She's in here, right in that bed. She got in bed, drank a bottle of champagne, broke the empty bottle, and cut her wrist with the shards. 
Nobody knows why she did it. In the TV movie, though, they said that she found out that her boyfriend was really her father. But who knows? I think it's about time we got back. Hey, whoop, no, let's wait. Shortcut. Every spooky, I think you'll like it. Oh, I'll tell you, it's nice to see you smile. I'm just getting a little worried. Don't be a hero. You're very good. Thank you. You'll have to start doing more. I will? Yes. Give me Tuesdays and Thursdays and half a Wednesday. Half days, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays are mine. Fine. Tie my hands. Wait, let me get it. Wind up back on the street? Nowhere to go? And tie him. What do you want with us? You keep your flap shut. Speak when spoken to. Kong, don't let them take their home. They fight. When are we going to Mexico? Soon, Kenny. Soon. But when I tell you to do something, don't ever question me. Now tie him. Payday. What? The... What's wrong? We've been double crossed. Maybe, maybe we should go now. Stay here. You gonna kill somebody? Not just somebody. Because when I was a little boy, my grandfather brought me to this hotel, and it became a little tradition for us. Uh, right after church, almost every Sunday, we would come here and we would spend a few hours with the finest cuisine and conversation. Now, on a more personal note, let me just say that this is a lot more than just politics to me. It's about a lot more than just trying to get your votes. Although... I learned a great deal from those wonderful afternoons here on Sunday with my grandfather. And I plan to return here with my daughter to see this place as it should be. Thank you.
you hear that? Unit 5 to base. Copy, Unit 5. Now, there may be someone in the off limit section. We'll investigate and advise. That's a Roger, Unit 5. Base to ballroom. Unit 5. Thank you. Solid. Thank you. was a part of something bigger than myself. That's really what this is about. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please forgive the intrusion. Uh, fortunately, the fire marshal has brought to our attention that... Um, so please, we are being asked to move towards the nearest exit immediately. So please now move towards the exits. Thank you. I thought you were the fire marshal, Frank. So did I. I gotta talk to the mayor. Uh, there is no immediate danger. Please go calmly. This is not an emergency. It is just a precaution. understand how could this happen excuse me congressman this is fbi agents hopkins and green i'm sorry we couldn't meet under different circumstances mr uh, this is captain waters he was here when it happened mr hopkins miss green i had several of my men posted here when this went down oh your people were in charge of security you sound like this is the city's fault captain please bring us up to speed during the speeches the family was waiting upstairs the terrorists came over a police band frequency saying they had kidnapped the wife her aide and the congressman's daughter what yeah Two of my men responded upstairs. They're searching for the family and the mayor's assistant, Eric. Do we know their demands? So far, find Larry King. And they want to negotiate through Charles Duffy. Duffy's a retired police officer. Retired? Why him? I have no idea. Well, if they want this Duffy, then for heaven's sakes, let's get them Duffy. I... OK, Captain, as of now, this is FBI jurisdiction. Look, I understand federal jurisdictions, but you're still going to need my help here. So why don't you just... Gentlemen, well, let's save the turf warfare, okay? I'm sure the congressman wants everybody's help. All right, here it is, Captain. We'll use your men to seal the perimeter. Already done. Good. Agent Green, I want you to take waters and find Charles Duffy. All of my people out of here. Okay, it's time for the men to take over from the boys. Out of my seat. Yeah, out of his seat. There you go. Out you get. Yes, sir. I want to meet with all the assault team squad leaders. Whoa, whoa, no, hey, that seems awfully dangerous. Congressman, please. Congressman, can't... try to understand. All right, the more options I have, the better I can negotiate. Have you ever heard of Agent John Lipinski? No. He was on the protection team when Reagan got shot. He's now a parking lot attendant in Minneapolis. Understood? Robert, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry if there's anything I can do. No, thank, thank you, Miles. I appreciate your being here. Have some more coffee, Charlie. I'm going to put something in and give it a little personality. No, no, you've had enough personality. We need your help, officer. Who's she? For the tenth time, she's Agent Green, FBI detail for Congressman Sinclair. I never heard of him. He's a United States congressman. Uh, last time I voted, I voted for Goldwater. Get his clothes. Look. Charlie, try to understand, we need your help. People have been kidnapped, the congressman's wife and daughter. 
Need my help? For what? To negotiate. Charlie, the girl's only 13. Where do you want me to go? Get him dressed. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I'll go. Fine. Happy to. But I'm not going without my partner. I am not going without Logan. Fine. Where do we find him? Is he talking too fast? You'll like Logan. He is a cool cat. Yeah, unless he trusts you and you let him down. Trust who? Charlie. Charlie. Big Irishman cost me 90 grand today. Money seems to come up a lot with you guys. Charlie tries to keep his dark side from taking over. Oh, Logan, I'd like you to meet Jackie Hi. and Jennifer. Ooh. Hello. Hi. How do you do? And Rita, the beautiful and lovely Rita. She's a graduate. Oh. Hi. So, Logan, are you and Charlie ever going to make some sort of peace? I mean, Charlie's not going to last forever. Not that I know anything about it. You're right, Higgs. I am? Yeah. You don't know anything about it. So stay out of it. <laughs> All police department sniper teams be advised. FBI hostage rescue teams are now entering south of Wheaton. We have no residue in back sniper. Doc, this is Alpha 1-1. We are approaching south stairwell, fourth floor landing. No sign over. Uh, I'm not in charge. How many guys are we looking for? They didn't say. Clear. Let's come on. Todd, this is Alpha 1 1, fourth floor, stairwell clear. Moving on up, over. Let's go. So I think it'll be 1, 2, 20? Maybe. Two mics and a PP locator. Yeah, just in case I pee my pants, right? It's a present position indicator. It allows us to locate you anywhere in the hotel. Maybe you haven't heard. I'm off the force. No, I heard that, Charlie. But I also heard you were a distinguished officer with, what, 30 years behind the badge? Yeah, yeah. These are the hostages, Officer Duffy. This is Susan, Congressman's wife. This is Ricky, her aide. This is Justine. Congressman's daughter. Mayor's aide, assistant, we don't have a picture of him. We don't know if he's up there or not. He's ready. Thanks. Listen, Charlie, I want you to understand something. That's my wife and my daughter up there. Now, I want you to promise them anything. I don't care what it is, anything, whatever they want. But don't let them hurt my family. I'll try. Officer Duffy, according to their instructions, this is the path you'll be taking. Follow it to the T. Charlie, the terrorists will have new instructions waiting for you somewhere along the way. Proceed carefully. The place is completely booby-trapped. I don't suppose anybody has a drink around here. I'm just kidding. Take this, Charlie. It's time to go. Good luck, Duffy. No one's heard from Logan, Charlie. He'll be here. Banzai. 
Alpha 1 2, this is Talk. Get over to fifth floor stairwell now. I need a sit rep on Alpha 1 1. Over. All Bravo units, all Bravo units. Follow on negotiator at one mic delay. Follow and secure north entry one. All units, hostage negotiator has entered north wing. Hold fire. I say again, hold your fire. Do not fire without permission from this tactical operations center. All teams respond. Over. Bullseye one, that's a roger. I'm an old man. Why don't you put me in an elevator? Six flights. Uh, but they're not walking. Bravo 2-2, this is Bravo 1-4. North wing lobby is secure. Go ahead and push your element through. Dark in here. You watch for wires. Don't touch anything you didn't put here. Want a man on every door. Two, still no movement. Do you want me to fall out? I presume. I'm Detective Duffy. Retired. Where's Christine? I couldn't do anything. They jumped us. The family's been kidnapped. Listen, now these terrorists. How many of them were there? I never saw them. They came from behind. Well, you better stay put until the all clear. I'm going with you. You can't. I'm the negotiator. No, that, 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 then I'll go back alone. Not a good idea. This place has more traps than any tunnel in man. I'll take my chances. I can't stay here by myself, please. Here's the directions they gave me. You gotta follow them to a T. Okay. Okay, then. Down the line. Eric's coming back. Good luck. Let's talk. I can help you. Officer, it's me. You remember me? Yeah, sure, I, I remember you. Cops kept hitting me. Chu Hoi, I said, Chu Hoi, I surrender. Yeah, right. Chu Hoi, surrender. Cops threw me in the hole. 
Fugazi, baby. Completely Fugazi. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. Fugazi. Fugazi, yeah, Fugazi. Well, you know, you're from up north. Uh, I'm from Philly. You got me out. You and me, babe. A couple of Irish war heroes. I got you out. I got you out of jail. Yeah. Well, I helped you then. Let me help you now. Just tell me what you want. We got demands. You're the messenger. We got messages to get out. I can't trust the radio. Someone's always listening, right? Okay, let's let's talk about it. First, we wait for Larry King. Okay. Okay. When is this lunatic gonna get to what he wants? Most important is we've been double-crossed. What's that? What are you talking about? Wires? You got wires? Get up. Get up. Is that it? Any more? Uh, the, the cops made me wear it. I didn't know it was you up here. You're a liar. You're a liar. You lie, you die. Officers hit! Fagazi, Fagazi. Over now. What officer is hit? What who fired? No one fired. I I, I don't I don't know what the hell's going on. What is Fugazi? And now it meant completely and totally screwed up. And then the other side. Let's just. Hey, look, Waters, I'm not going to debate this with you, all right? Your job is to handle the perimeter of the hotel. My job is to handle all matters related to the inside of the hotel. You are going to get everybody killed. <sighs> you were supposed to die, Charlie. Why didn't you just hit him with your fists? You needed him to negotiate. Can I have his shoes? He's not a hog, Kenny. Make a statement. It's okay. It's okay. Look, I feel really bad about your top. We can go out tomorrow again if you want to look for it. Got my own ball. Charlie left you a message. He's with a whole bunch of federal agents. He wants help with some uh, hostage something. <laughs> Dream on. I knew that either you or that kid would end up with all the chicks. But tonight, she and her stepmother, along with Susan Sinclair's personal aide, Ricky Stewart, are all being held hostage. So far, no word on how many kidnappers are involved, and there is nothing known regarding their release of the trio. This event comes on the eve that most experts predicted would be the beginning of Congressman Sinclair's first overtures for the nomination for Get on with it, lady. This is Miles McCurdy, Congressman Sinclair's spokesman. What can you tell us, Mr. McCurdy, about the congressman's reaction to these events? Well, the, uh, the congressman is obviously extremely distraught uh, over these terrible turn of events. And, uh, he, would, he would like to thank very much his supporters for, for all of their aid during this uh, highly emotional time. Uh, uh, at this very moment, a hostage negotiator is on the scene, Officer Charles Guffey. Uh, uh, Duffy uh, is on the scene uh, uh, meeting with the uh, hostage takers, uh, uh, attempting to ascertain what their uh, demands are. Thank you very much. Uh, now back to the studio. What the hell are you doing? I gotta go down there. Well, you'll never get by the perimeter. Captain Waters will have you thrown out. Oh, I'll get down there and I'll get in. Because I got a police detective with me. Take care of the ladies. What are you talking about? Hey, Richard. Richard. 
hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Where's Charlie? He's inside. How the hell did you work that out? I didn't. He was asked for by the terrorists. Oh. Yeah. Turns out he's got more guts than anybody gives him credit for. You know how much guts he's got. That's why I'm here. Oh, yeah, you're here, all right. Maybe too late. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means that Charlie went in there and he got into trouble. He was wearing a wire. They found it. Where was he? The last time you heard from him. He was up there. and I were partners for 20 years. Well, in the meantime, I suggest you both stay out of the line of fire. This is my perimeter, Agent. Everyone back to the FBI got an assault team going in? This whole place is booby-trapped. Those guys are non-vets. Fugazi was the last thing we heard over Charlie's wire. I'm gonna need a weapon. Meet you around back with one. Where are you going? find Charlie. Charlie's probably dead. Well, I'm going in anyway. Understand, I have no knowledge of your going in. I appreciate it, Richard. As ordered, Dr. Severa, profiler. She studied the note. All right. This is good. Follow it up. Yeah. And? Based on the handwriting and syntax analysis, the person who wrote this is white, mid to late 40s, delusional, violent, paranoid schizophrenic, might be genetic, may be coupled with or caused by extreme trauma. If they've yet to state any ransom demands, this is about being noticed, gaining fame. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? Could you arrange for Larry King in uh, two hours? Why don't they just call King? He lets anybody on that show. Oh, come on. What all? Nothing yet, sir. Find Larry King. It might motivate their next move. I find it puzzling that they're willing to wait for Larry King. If they truly wanted headlines, why not make use of the press that's already here? Okay, so, so your next move is what? Well, with all the booby traps are slow going for the assault team, so, uh, we wait. Talk it out. What do you mean, talk it out? How do you, how do you talk it out? Well, it's likely that they're monitoring a police radio that they stole during the kidnapping. But I thought they said they would only talk to Charlie. Well, maybe we can make contact. Get them to listen to you. Woodall, bring me the police radio. Excuse radios. me, has it occurred to anyone that uh, they've already heard all this on the radios? The FBI has its own high-band secured channels. The terrorists on the local police channels. Now, despite what you might believe, Mr. McCurdy, we do have some idea what we're doing here. Okay. Mr. McCurdy. Something I can do for you, Agent Hopkins. You can keep your mouth shut, Mr. McCurdy. Next time you talk to the press, I'm going to have you arrested for obstruction. You got that? What does this mean? Nothing. Well, nothing. Well, what did no, you do, Robert? Robert nothing. I, the, I, the, the press grabbed me, and I spoke to the people oh. about how much you appreciated this support in this no. time of need. That's no. all. I was Miles, Miles, don't make this into a campaign platform, okay? Don't make it into anything. Logan. Logan. Psst. Higgs, what took you so long? Getting a gun for you. I'm coming with you. Here's your light. Here's your weapon. Let's go. Charlie doesn't even like you. I don't think that matters now.
What is that? Could mean three trip wires. Could mean anything. I don't understand. The call. They set so many booby traps. They, they couldn't remember where they all were, so they put little reminders up. How do you know that? Because I was there, and I'm still here. Try to get them to talk to you. Come on. Um, uh, this is Robert Sinclair. Hello? Hello? Kenny, uh, Kenny, use the name Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Are you there, Kenny? That's me. This is Congressman Sinclair. I would like to speak with my daughter. So much talking to me. Who's this? This is Congressman Sinclair. Hello? 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 Where's my money? Where's Larry King? Larry King is coming, but it's going to take some time, and the money... When stolen, you give me Larry King, your family goes out the window. Stay off the radio. my daughter. Her name is Justine. Kenny, are you there? I Let me talk to my daughter. I'll have to ask Flynn when he comes back. Flynn. Flynn, all right, somebody run the name Flynn. Come on, let's go. Keep him talking. Kenny, please, just for a second. I just want to talk to my daughter. Uh, talk to me for just a second. Mm, Flynn told me not to. I would like to speak with my daughter. I'll have to ask Flynn when he comes back. Kenny, please. I just want to talk to my daughter. 
Her name is Justine. Okay. I, I, I didn't know he was your daddy. Is she a good daddy? Most of the time. I had a good daddy. Daddy? Hi, baby. Oh, how are you? Are, are you okay? <laughs> We're okay, daddy. <laughs> well, that's good. Is Susan okay? <laughs> Yes, she's okay, Daddy. Well, now, we're doing everything we can, all right? I love you, honey. Just come get us, Daddy. Come get us. I'm trying, honey. I'm doing everything I can. Kenny! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Justine. Justine. You started this war. Now I'm gonna end it. Okay, uh, I, 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 I'm having trouble understanding you. Okay, would you please, please talk to me? There's, I don't know, there's something wrong with this. It's fading, I can't hear you. I don't want to hear you. Try a different channel. Tell them to go to seven. Okay, we're having difficulty understanding you, so would you please switch to channel seven? Would you please go to channel seven? Logan says these guys are tunnel rats from Nam. Logan also says that they were crazy when they got out. Will you get off of that damn thing? We'll get back to you. Who the hell is that? Who's on that channel? Huh? Last transmitted station. Identify yourself and stay off this freak. Liars. You're in my ballpark now, Mr. Logan. Mr. Flynn. Mr. Flynn, are you there? Hello, hello, Mr. Flynn. Kenny. Kenny. How do they know my name? Somebody else is in the building. Who? We got an assault team on the way up there. They're on a high security frequency. We're on the local police band. <sighs> Find Waters. Can I have some gum? What? Gum. You have some in your purse? Sure. Okay. You can have some gum. Yeah. Are they going to kill us? We're gonna be all right, Justine. I am so sorry. For what? I have treated you so badly. I'm sorry too. I'm never gonna ground you again. You don't have to. I'm gonna ground myself. You better pick an understanding husband because I'm never gonna let you out of my sight. Okay, I will. It's good you listen to your mama. I, 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 I don't have a mama. I'm sorry. W want some gum?
Bound up, Mike. Bound up. Talk says there's a wild card in the building. I repeat, there's a wild card in the building. I hope he's not a friendly boss, because he'll get wasted. Did you send somebody in there? No. Interfering in a federal investigation is a felony. It's Logan McQueen, Charlie Duffy's old partner. He's crazy, but if I was in there, I'd want him sent in. And if you knew him, you'd feel exactly the same way. So why don't you get smart and try to figure out some way to help him? Let me tell you something. If he does something stupid in there, we're going to have to kill him ourselves. I got a team in there, too, pal. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I just hope he doesn't have to stop them from doing something stupid. Pal, the man's eight at the end of this corridor. Oh, yeah? Get up, build up. We got three floors to go. Great. Up. They're trying to kill people. Yeah. What's your name, soldier? Corporal. What was your rank? I was a little higher than you. Nobody was higher than me. Bravo 3 1 and cough. We copy, Team 3. Got another explosion, this time with gunshots. I repeat, with gunshots. Don't know who is who up here. Roger that, Team 3. We're moving out. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we 
hit. Don't turn me over. Call in your position. Her. She's just a kid, you coward. Oh. oh, okay. I'll be quiet. But please, not her. Take me. Just a child. Take me. Take me. Let her go. You better hope my father never finds you. you better hope you sprout wings, little girl. No! No! Please don't do this. Please. Kenny, do something. Stop it. Stop it. No, Flynn. Man, she's too little. No! Focus, Kenny! No! No! No, Flynn! Mind if we come in? Okay. 
Robert, I, I know this is a, a bad time, but just hear me out for one quick second. You have to understand what a, a rare opportunity this is what? to make some serious political hay. I got the profile on Flynn. Right, here we go. There's an Arlen Flynn with a military record. Military has him listed as MIA in 1971. Computer shows an Arlen Flynn with an arrest record that begins in 1975. Maybe he's not so MIA anymore. Arlen M. Flynn, born 1950, Shreveport, Louisiana.
Corporal, I'm very disappointed in you. These traps are very amateurish for a tunnel rat. Keep talking, buddy. Make it easy on me. Logan, go ahead and scream. I know where you are. Ouch. That's all you get, Corporal. Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. Next stop is Vietnam. And it's five, six, seven, open up the pearly gates. Well, there ain't no time to wonder why we're all gonna die. You messed up my plan, Logan. You gotta pay. Corporal, not too late, you know. Get you some help. You and I came out of that war all screwed up, partner. Everybody did. The war didn't screw me up. Hell, man, was my education. You think I'm some homeless vet reject like Kenny? I get paid to do this. Really? You got paid? Yeah. Except the college boy double-crossed me. I wish he was here. I'd show him. Corporal, I'm coming out. I don't think that college boy meant for you to get out of here alive. Well, I guess we'll both see Mr. McCurdy in hell, won't we?
Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you, you sure? <laughs> Sweetheart. Got a mighty strong family, Congressman. Thank you. You're welcome. You also have a fox in the hen house. Name is McCurdy. Miles. Is that true? Thank you. governor's seat today, Congressman Robert Sinclair announced his departure from politics. This on the heels of last night's arrest of Sinclair campaign manager Miles McCurdy. McCurdy is being charged for his role in the kidnapping of the congressman's wife Susan and daughter Justine. A kidnapping that also resulted in the death of aides Ricky Stewart and Eric Gordon. The ordeal is believed to be the design of the misguided McCurdy in an attempt to gain sympathy and notoriety for Sinclair's candidacy. Also in the news today, accused embezzler Cy Harkin was arrested at the private home of Dr. Lee Chambiris. Harkin was found recovering from gunshot wounds and being treated privately by Dr. Chambiris. Harkin is accused in the embezzlement of nearly $100 million from the Iron Group Mutual Funds Harkin established some three years ago. Bounty hunter Sonny Wildman Coger was responsible for the capture of Harkin. Coger, seen here, received the $100,000 reward offered by those who were hoping to find the millions Harkin is suspected of sheltering throughout the world. Coming up next, the latest on the wrath of Hurricane Isis, just how much destruction... You know, you should, you should buy me a drink. I saved your life. I saved your life after you saved my life. Here's the beauty and the charm. Which one am I? And uh, as to you as well, my boy. Uh.